The wait is almost over. Dumbledore, why can't you go? I cannot move against Grindelwald. It has to be you. It's one of the most anticipated films of the year. Fantastic Beast: The Crimes of Grindelwald hits theaters this week. E Talks Devin Sultan D flew to Paris to attend the premiere and spoke to the cast. He joins me now. Devin, good to see you. Good morning. How are you? I'm well. I'm good. I'm <laughs> looking forward to this movie to cuddle up with a blanket and eat all the snacks. Yeah. Um, this movie uh, is absolutely incredible, and the casting I think has been so phenomenal. You actually got to talk to the cast on the red carpet. I think we have a clip to share. Five years, ten years in the future. What do you think this franchise will have meant to each of you? Well, it'll be a, a huge chapter in our lives, you know, which is a wonderful thing. We've been through a lot together. <laughs> <laughs> no. You have actually. On the last tour, there was this. Um, we, Iris, my daughter, was like really little, and she came on the tour with us. And there was this amazing moment where we were flying from New York. We were so desperately concerned that Iris wasn't going to sleep. We basically just passed her between like Catherine yeah. and Ali they and Ezra. Into the and thing. They, like, I'm so sorry in exactly. advance. And we were like, Are you kidding? Give me that baby. So it's like you have 20 <laughs> babysitters now as the cast gets bigger. Devin, the cast looks like they're just one big family, and they it are. seems like that's part of why people, I think, are so in love with this film. Well, yeah, you know, a lot of people ask me, why are these films so popular? And it really is rooted in the beginning of the Harry Potter franchise. Uh, first of all, these books and these movies are incredibly well written. Uh, the source material is fantastic, but also you've got this factor of nostalgia that a lot of people feel okay. connected to from their childhoods, whether they grew up reading the Harry Potter books, whether they grew up watching the Harry Potter films or both. This is a continuation of that franchise. Think Star Wars. Uh, think all these different franchises that have emotional connotations and nostalgia as well as great source material. And this is one of those films. I mean, the first Fantastic Beast film made $814 million at the box office. That is not accidental. So when you see in that clip where I was interviewing uh, the cast in Los Angeles, uh, and then again in the red carpet in Paris, not only have they spent months and months together, I think the shoot for the first Fantastic Beast movie was seven months long. They're in a sound studio in London shooting for seven months. They get to know each other very, very well, as you saw in that interview. Uh, they saw each other get married and have children. It's really uh, amazing in terms of the personal connections. Uh, but also, I mean, they feel very lucky to be a part of this franchise. It's a continuation of uh, an emotionally connected franchise. And for an actor, for a movie fan, for a movie goer, it doesn't get much better than that. Yeah, it's, it's a cool experience to be part of. And like you said, like it, we're all emotionally connected to it. I remember yeah. reading Harry Potter as Absolutely. a kid in middle school, right? Yeah. So you were at the premiere in Paris. Mm -hmm. Ezra Miller got a lot of attention on the red carpet. Yeah, he did. I mean, he look, Ezra Miller, There's there are movie stars and then there are actors. Uh, sometimes a person is both. And Ezra Miller is both those things. Uh, he is an incredible actor. Uh, he is also uh, an amazing movie star. Uh, and he knows how to work a red carpet. GQ just wrote a really amazing article about him saying uh, he's got you know one of the most unique styles, as you saw. Uh, he's wearing sort of like, uh, it, it's a Montclair jacket, but it's also like a, there's a, like a dress skirt component to it. Uh, I'm wearing a suit there. I, I look pretty warm. I'm not warm. It was about three degrees on that red carpet. So he was dressed for the elements a lot more than I was was. Uh, but look, he understands the moment. Uh, he understands how to uh, get people's attention. Uh, he does it in a very organic way. And he also happens to be a great actor. And that is the makings of an amazing movie star. He's very appealing, for sure. Absolutely. How does this film compare to the one before? Well, it's a continuation of the story. So I've seen the movie. I know a lot of people don't want me giving away spoilers, so I won't do that. Uh, but you're going to learn a lot. If you're a fan of the Harry Potter franchise, and even if you're not, even if you know anecdotal things about uh, how the first uh, six or seven films went, uh, you're going to learn things that will give more context to uh, those first seven films in the Harry Potter franchise. Uh, and you'll learn a little bit more about the characters. This is the beginnings of, of Dumbledore, for example. You're going to learn uh, about how the Grindelwald character uh, has to do with not just this franchise, but the franchise before. I'm trying very hard. I feel like I'm <laughs> walking in a minefield showing. here. You, are, uh, you, you don't are. want to give away a lot of spoilers. But the truth of the matter is, if you are a huge Harry Potter fan, uh, you're definitely going to want to pay attention to what happens in this movie because of the connotations and connections to the past and the future implications in this franchise. Okay. But also, if you're not uh, you know, well-versed in, in the Harry Potter franchise, you're still going to be entertained. It's an amazing movie. Okay, and this, there's more to come after this one. There's 
much more to come. Okay, well, there's so much more to I've come. I've signed a lot of contracts. I can't <laughs> say anything. I bet, I bet. There's so much more to come on your coverage of this film because it is Wizarding Week on eTalk. They have all the Fantastic Beasts coverage you need, including interviews with the cast and exclusive behind-the-scenes access. You can check it out at 7 on CTV. Go or go to ctv.ca for your local listings.